What's going on? My name is Ollie Ward and welcome back to some more transfer news on the channel. Some would say this is breaking news coming out of Ellen Road. But before we do get into that, be sure to subscribe down below right now and also smash a like on this video. Can we smash 100 likes? Leeds look like they're going to sign someone, so let's smash the like button. 100 likes, get it done right now. Without further ado, let's get in to the transfer news. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe Leeds United have had the worst transfer window out of every Premier League club. I've only signed one player, that was Junior Firpo, replacing Alioski. I would say it's an improvement, some would say it isn't. Obviously, Chelsea have signed Lukaku, Ronaldo's gone back to Man United, City have signed Grealish, even Norwich have had a decent transfer window, Watford have had a decent transfer window, and I've looked at ours and gone... Really? Until now, it looks like Daniel James could be on his way technically back to Leeds United. In 2019, Leeds United did try and sign Daniel James until the last minute where Swansea didn't pick up the call. He was already there, signed the contract, had his shirt made, ready for the photos. Literally, it was done until... Swansea just didn't pick up the phone. And that annoyed the player and the club, and we thought he would never come back to Leeds United. He went to Manchester United, and we started to just hate him, I guess. But the recent signing of Cristiano Ronaldo back at Manchester United sees Dan James not really being a starter. You know, they've got very good attacking players. Cavani, Ronaldo, Rashford, Sancho, Martial. You know, even like Lingard will probably get more game time than Daniel James. And Bielsa has always liked Daniel James since we inquired about him in 2019, since we pretty much had him at the club. He's always watched him. Every transfer window since, we've always been linked with Daniel James because Bielsa likes him. This morning, exclusively Fabrizio Romano. Everyone knows Fabrizio Romano. You know, he's definitely he's just a top tier journalist. Has came out and exclusively said that Leeds United are in advanced talks with Man United over a permanent deal for Daniel James. The fee is rumoured to be around 18 million plus add-ons. You know, that is a lot of money for a player like Daniel James. A lot of people are saying, they're writing it off already, they're saying Daniel James isn't good enough for Leeds United. I mean, have your own opinion. I personally think he would be a good player. A good addition to the side. I'd play Daniel James right, Harrison left, let Rafinha play in that 10 and Bamford up front. Would you guys do that as well? Leave it in the comments down below. I don't believe we can look at Daniel James at Manchester United and say we don't want him, okay? Because this is the same manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who has Van der Beek on the bench and still plays Scott McTominay and Fred. You know, okay, they do wonders against Leeds, but for the rest of the season, they're not very good. And you know what I mean? Like Marcelo Bielsa compared to that man, if Marcelo Bielsa likes him that much and wants him, there's surely something about him that he can get out of him. I like to play him on the right, Harrison on the left, let Raf have that number 10, Bamford up top. That would be a deadly duo, I tell you, or trio, Forgio, what's the four, quadruplo. A lot of people are also saying that it's too much to sign for a player, but realistically, in this modern market, 18 million is just a player of that standard, you know what I mean? And I have looked at him at Manchester United, granted, he has looked... Probably their worst player out of the team they've got. But he's probably not good enough for Manchester United. And that's credit to Manchester United because they're going for title. Maybe he's not that type of player yet. Maybe he is a Leeds United player. Maybe he could be the best player out of our squad. Do you know what I mean? He maybe looks out of place because he's next to the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Pogba. In this team, he will shine. I believe he'll shine next to Harrison, Rafinha, Phillips behind him. Do you know what I mean? I think it's so easy to write him off because he looks like the weak link in a strong Billion pound Manchester United side, and then he's going to look brilliant in our side. That's all I'm saying. And lastly, do I believe Daniel James will be a good signing for Leeds? I do. I want him, okay? It's not just even the fact that, yes, finally we've signed someone. It's the fact that I believe Helder Costa will be off in the near future. I don't believe he'll go in this transfer window. I believe he'll go in the summer. The likes of Valencia and other La Liga teams are looking at the Portuguese winger. So bring in another winger. But he also really wants another winger. But it is... Kind of showing that we do need a central midfielder. I don't think winger right now is our main priority. If we can get a winger like Daniel James in and also get a central mid tomorrow, I mean, I think that's a successful window. What about you? The quick question of the day for you guys today is two little questions. Would you be happy with Daniel James at Leeds? And also, what are you rating our transfer window out of 10 if we did sign Daniel James? Like, out of 10, what are you saying? Eight, nine? Seven, three, what are you saying? Leave it in the comments down below. So there it is, Leeds United are in advanced talks with Man United. Will it get done? Will we see a here we go from Fabrizio Romano? Let's hope 
we can get Daniel James in. I know this signing will probably divide fans' opinions, but do let me know in the comments down below. I personally think he'll be a good addition to, at the moment, a struggling lead side. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash a like down below. Remember, let's try and smash 100 likes on this video and subscribe if you are new for more Leeds United news and Leeds United content throughout the season. And remember, comment... Thoughts on Dan James and rate our transfer window out of 10. Without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent and I'll catch you next time. Cheery. Uh.